Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. A well-designed cold air kit is a basic performance upgrade that can be beneficial to any vehicle, especially a turbocharged car like our Focus RS. We're looking to make a little more power out of this car and have a little more fun with it, so today we're going to install this Mishimoto cold air intake. This kit is a direct bolt-on and includes all SRC hardware. The Mishimoto claims 12 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque with no tuning required. For this installation, we had a quarter-inch ratchet, 7mm socket, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, 13mm deep socket, an extension, 10mm wrench, and a 4mm Allen key. RS previously had a cold air kit installed on it, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you some footage on how to remove the factor one, then begin the installation of the Mishimoto. But our cold air kit is going to basically replace this section right here, so we're going to start by removing our engine cover so we have a little more access. To remove this pipe, we have to remove this clamp here, this one down here at the box, and this bolt holding it to the engine. Okay, now we're gonna remove the tube. Disconnect this hose. So we'll disconnect the sensor. Pull the little plastic plug off. And carefully remove the air boxes by lifting up. Begin the actual installation on our table. We have a little assembly to do with the box. The first thing you want to do is flip it upside down on the shelf section here. Grab one of the larger screws with a lock washer and thread this on. Just get it hand tight. This will have a little bit of a movement up and down. So just get it hand tight for now. Now you want to grab this bracket with a round end here and this little slot. This will go right here. And again, grab the, the second of the larger bolts. Leave that loose enough to move around as well. And I grab this longer bracket and on the side here with the two holes in that duct, it's gonna go right here next to the bottom hole. And just get it snug. Now on the bottom of this bracket facing down, we're gonna install another stud. Again, just snug, leave it loose for now so it moves around a little bit. Okay, this bracket here with the slot, this is gonna sit right inside the lower air duct here and secure it with the supplied hardware. Now we're ready to install the inlet on the car. You wanna grab the inlet pipe itself and the smaller clamp and make sure it's oriented so you can get to it when it's on the car. Right, now we're going to fish the inlet tube down there and connect it to the turbo. And get in there and tighten it down. Right, we're ready to install our air box. There's a couple little pieces we have to install still though. These two pieces are going to come off of your stock air box. This is a lower duct. This is just one of the mounting pegs. The mounting peg it's going to go right here on this stud, just slide it right on. And the lower duct is going to go down here with this bracket. What you want to do is lift the bracket up and install the duct so the bracket clamps it into place. The box is going to mount in the same location as the stock box using the three factory locations. You've got one down here, one here, and then the factory one up here. You want to make sure they're all seated. We're actually going to tighten the brackets down and get the box where it belongs. Okay. 
the box secure, and we can rotate this into place. Then tighten that down as well. Now we're going to put the air let sensor in. We're going to install the cable clip, a little notch on the back. I'm going to grab this bracket here. Again, use the original rubber grommet from the factory inlet tube. The mill insert through the top. And then you get screwed to the bottom of the tube. And again, leave it loose. I'm going to make sure we can adjust it when we get it in place. I'm going to put the clamp back here on the inlet hose. And put the intake tube into the air box. And sort of shimmy it into place. Connect to the tube. Okay, now we're going to install this bracket here over the factory stud. Now we're going to reinstall the factory nut on the stud. Line that up. Install a mounting stud for the cover. I'm going to bring the warm gear clamp up into place here on the inlet tube. Tube in place. I'm going to reach behind it here. Install the PCV line. Make sure it clicks. Now we'll grab the vacuum line with the rubber grommet in the back of the Mishimoto tube. Clip it in up top here. And then plug it in the valve cover. Then we're going to line this bracket up over here and reinstall the factory bolt. Then using a 10 millimeter wrench, tighten the bolt underneath. Back over in the airbox side, we're going to plug our sensor in. Then install the other duct. And now we can install our filter. I want to make sure all your hoses are tight with everything in place. First, we'll start with a hose up here, and then tighten the hose at the turbo. Now, the last part of the installation is to install the air box lid. Just get all the bolts started before you try to tighten anything down. Reinstall the engine cover and your installation is finished. Oh, it's fired up and hear how it sounds. As 
we come to expect from Mishimoto, the colder intake kit for the RS, it fits really well, it looks great under the hood, and should make some power as well. Installation is not terribly difficult, figure about an hour to an hour and a half, and be back on the road in no time. 